What journey did I take to become a hypnotherapist? Well, it was a, a journey that started way, way back in the mists of time. When I was a child, I always wanted to be an actor. Um, I soon hit the reality button and decided that actually, you know, something I enjoyed doing, I wasn't that good at. And so I ended up going into what became really a family tradition, and that was moving into science. And I became what's known as a psychopharmacologist, which essentially means somebody who works with drugs and how they affect emotion, drugs in the mind, essentially, um, and the areas of interest I was working in. I was a researcher and I was looking at anxiety. I was looking a bit at depression, certainly at dental phobia and also a little smattering of working with panic attacks, too. And. To be honest, I loved my job, really enjoyed what I was doing. And I like to think that people thought that what I was doing was good as well because I kept getting promoted. And unfortunately, you know what happens. You get promoted further and further away from the bit that you enjoy doing and you end up being pushed more and more towards stuff you don't enjoy doing, which was the case with me. I loved the hands-on research, wasn't that interested in going to budget meetings and all of that sort of thing. And so I made the decision to have a life change, to make a change in my direction in life. And with that direction in life, I'd been told many times that I was a good listener. I'd also been told that I was good at giving advice. And so I thought, right, I might think about training as a, as a counsellor. Um, and I hasten to add, I rapidly learned that therapists do not give advice. Um, so I was researching all sorts of courses to go on and train to become a counsellor. And I came across hypnotherapy. I came across hypnotherapy with the, the college that originally trained me. And I thought this sounded very interesting. So what I did was being the researcher that I am, I looked around at all the other courses that were available to me at that time. And I kept coming back to this college that I was um, originally trained by. And why did I go back there? Well, it was because they were doing they were doing their training based on evidence based research. And that appealed to me as a researcher. Um, in the meantime, the hospital I was working in um, with at the time, uh, Guy's and St. Thomas's Hospital, they were going through a merger of the medical schools with, um, uh, uh, with King's College. And as part of that merger, um, my post was cut. Now, I was offered a sideways shift to a similar post, but I thought, well, I'm being offered redundancy. Why don't I take up that particular option um, and really step into changing my life, which is what I did. And I can certainly say it was one of the best things that I ever did. Um, and um, I really never looked back, took that redundancy offer. And I ended up working for and eventually running the, the college that originally trained me. On this journey, I also met at the same time Sheila Menon, who is the principal of the LSCCHR CCH Asia Group. We trained about the same time together, different areas of the country, but we knew each other. And then in the very early um, 2000s, um, by this point, I was teaching Sheila was also um, coming in to teach as well. Sheila decided to move back to Malaysia, uh, where she came from. And she took the training that uh, the college was doing over to Malaysia at that point. And I continued to have a very strong, close working relationship with her being one of the first people to go over and teach in Malaysia for her. And we had a long working relationship with the college I was running with her um, until the end of the um, uh, sort of around, I think around about 2017, Michael Joseph, the person who was um, running that particular college, he passed or owned that particular college, he passed away. And I and and as he passed away, so the college unfortunately passed away with him. Sheila and I then decided that we would join together and and basically work with what she was already doing, which was 
independent of um, the college that uh, I was working with at that time and create something new. So we came to create together and created the LSCCH, LCCH Asia Group. And that produced a, a whole new curriculum, a whole new set of courses that we're now running together. So do I have any regrets about my journey? No, none at all. It's wonderful because becoming a hypnotherapist has allowed me to achieve so many of my life goals, so many things that I wanted to achieve. And most importantly, it's allowed me to meet so many fascinating people and to have the honor that these people have allowed me to help them go through some of the very, very dramatic changes in their lives as they've come and sought out therapy. So that's my journey. And I hope that one day that you will be able to share your journey with me too.